Today's episode is going to be the ultimate guide between MSC, Yacht Club, and the Celebrity Retreat. So we're going to break it down. We've got five different categories and let's get into it. You want to kick us off with uh... Do you want to tell us what our categories are first before oh, yes. I start the category? So we have five categories. Uh, we have food, which is Emma's favorite, drinks, uh, which sweet, is your favorite. <laughs> sweet area, sweet benefits, and then an overall experience slash price. So let's get into them. So we're going to start out with my favorite, food. <laughs> are you going to have magic canes again? Maybe. We'll see how that, we'll see how I feel as we go along. But food is my favorite. And I will say between celebrity and MSC on paper, they are very similar in what you get for the sweets. Yes. Very similar. On paper. On paper. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> so both of them have a dedicated restaurant that you have access to if you're in the suites. Both of them have snacks in their lounges. Both of them have 24 hour room service. So both have their own dedicated restaurant and within the restaurant, the menu changes for lunch and dinner for both of them. You also have food on the sun deck for both of them. The only difference on the food on the sun deck is that with MSC, it is more of a buffet, but you can get some hot dogs or burgers to order, like yeah. that they'll make fresh. Where celebrities, you kind of sit at the bar area and you order the food that you want from a yeah. small menu. We should probably caveat that this is specifically looking at what we've experienced so far, edge class ships with the celebrity and then the MSC Seashore. So now going back to that 24 hour room service, MSC has a little bump up because they have late night pizza and their pizza was very, very tasty. Probably the best pizza we've had at sea. They are an Italian company. Well, they do good pizza. Now... It brings us to the score. But that was, that was everything on paper. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yes. Of what, in, this is our opinion obviously, of who we think has better food. This is no question. It's no question. Celebrity has better food by far. Um, yeah, the curated menu in Lumine is by Chef Daniel Belude, uh, is really good. It's top notch. It's probably our favorite of all classes. So Celebrity obviously wins this one. I will say though that Celebrity's food options are a little bit more, well, first off, their quality is fantastic. But second off, I'd say that the like menu is a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, risque. I wouldn't say risque, but it's a little like, um, experimental, but not even that. Like it's it's fusion different, style. fusion different. It, where it's not like steak and potatoes is probably the best way to explain it. But if you would like steak and potatoes, yeah, you they, can order off the main dining room in the celebrity. Room. Yeah, but it's just a little bit more of like a high end restaurant is probably the best way to explain it. Where I would say MSC is. MSC is very similar to a main dining room menu. Uh, yeah, that's a good explanation. On other lines, that's how I would say it. I agree with that. So by far, celebrity. So the next category is drinks. And specifically we'll s highlight the alcoholic drinks. Uh, they do, we will just touch on coffee and other things. They will. Um, both have a, come with when you book the Yacht Club or the Celebrity Retreat, you get the premium drinks package included in your fare, which is great. Which is awesome. It's really nice to not have to worry about it and just be able to order pretty much anything you want. Yep, that'll include specialty coffees, juices, teas, smoothies, smoothies, higher end liquor, higher end wines. So basically everything you would want is included with those premium drinks package, which is great. Both your rooms will have a fridge. Now with MSC, that fridge is stocked and is complimentary. In uh, Celebrity, depending on the suite class you're in, if you're in the Sky class, it's not complimentary. The, you will get charged for the mini bar. Um, however, your butler can empty it and you can refill it with the coolers that are located say. in the retreat lounges. So the, those There's coolers. There's like mini fridges that have yes. options like water and vitamin water. So just a few little drink options that you can take back to your room. Yep. Additional similarity here, they're very similar. Uh, there's a bar located on the sun deck as well in the celebrity retreats, specifically on the newer ships. Some of the older ships. So the refurbished ones have it as yes, well. Yes, the refurbished ones do. Um, and then the MSC Yacht Club has a bar up there as well. Which is just nice when you're 
out sunbathing, you yep. can grab an alcoholic drink or a non-alcoholic drink. Yep, and uh, they both offer, uh, have great coffees and teas. I will say the Yacht Club has a lot more espresso machines. Yes. Like, it seems like and every every bar has an espresso machine. The Yacht Club also had a lot more tea options. And they had the Yacht Club also had smoothies inside the like Yacht Club lounge where if you are in the celebrity retreat, you could get a smoothie, but it was at the spa cafe. Yep. So you had to leave the retreat area to get that. Um, they were delicious, but that wasn't open very often. So I would say if you're looking for smoothies, then the Yacht Club would yep. be better. This one is going to be the toughest, I think, to grade. Yeah, because both make really good drinks, it... but like no one really outshines the other. Both you give the premium drinks. So again, you're not outshining anyone. Mm -hmm. This is going to go, I have to give a point to somebody on this one. I cannot tie on drinks. Uh, this is strictly our opinion. We like a good mixed cocktail and made very well. I think Celebrity Retreat makes a better cocktail. Okay. I guess I could say, I, I agree with that. But I would say if you're not into a cocktail, then maybe MSC, just because I think they have so many more coffee options, tea options, smoothie options. And then you also have your drinks in your mini fridge. Yep. But I agree. I think I would give the point to Celebrity. So, based on Live a Little's opinion, point Celebrity. The next category is the sweet area that is, is included. It sweet, like me? Yeah, it's pretty sweet like you. <laughs> a little spice? No spice, just All right, sweet. just sweet. <laughs> Again, they're pretty similar-ish in this area as well. Would you agree? I would say... What they have is very similar. I would the think the quality is different. is different. Yeah. So let's list off the things that are similar. You have a specialty restaurant. You have a bar. You have a lounge. You have a roof deck. You have a bar on the roof deck. You have food on the roof deck. You pools. have pools on the rooftop. So both have outdoor pools, which is nice, and hot tubs. Yep. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing. You have concierge. Butlers. True. Oh. All of them have concierge and butlers, but that's not really, I guess that is kind of a sweets area. That's more on your benefits side. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good point. Well, ahead of We'll the get game. into that in a second, in the um, next topic. The other thing I would say is if you're looking at the different types of rooms that each line has, MSC has a good amount of options, but I would say there's kind of just like a handful of different options where Celebrity Retreat has a lot of options and I think the big difference too is that the celebrity retreat has two different levels so you have the sky and the star class and if you're in the higher up suites well first off those suites are just gorgeous and huge and we don't have enough people watching the channel for us to afford those yet. or money to do those <laughs> yet um, but they look absolutely amazing you do get different things with some of those like pajamas and more alcohol and specialty restaurants and things like that Forgot about the pajamas. We're kind of just comparing the entry level for both of them, but I think there's opportunity to get more with Celebrity, where MSC, it's kind of pick your room, but you're all going to have the same kind of benefits. So one thing you hear referred to is the suite class being a ship within a ship. Um, while everyone is doing very similar now, MSC actually has a ship within a ship, so once you cross that door into the Yacht Club, you don't have to leave the Yacht Club. So uh, that basically means that the rooms, the lounge, the restaurant, the roof deck, like all of that is in with contained within the one space. Yep. Yeah. And then with the Celebrity, it's not this, it's technically not ship within a ship. Now, a lot of benefits are located in what's the retreat area, um, but not all the rooms are located in there. and. Lumine is not located in the retreat. No, the lounge, you, there are stairs that you can get to the sun deck, so maybe those are considered like in the same area, but it's not all contained within one, Yep. like MSC is. So with all of that said, that's kind of everything on paper, but now in reality when you're experiencing it, this one, I, I do love the sweet, like the ship within a ship feel. I think that is really nice. There's something kind of very upscale and kind of just nice about it. But I think overall, Celebrity feels higher end, a little bougier, 
a little. <laughs> I think it helps. It's more our style. There is a lot of glitz and glam in the MSC Yacht Club. MSC is very shiny. Celebrity kind of feels like you're in a spa. Yeah. Like a modern spa. Yeah, and there's just a little, there's a step up in quality in the retreat that the Yacht Club is missing. Um, I think there's a video where I'm noticing a crack in the wall uh, from the wallpaper. You wouldn't see that in the retreat. No. Uh, so that's, I think the point here goes to the retreat just based on, it's, a, it's another level of quality. They're so similar on what they offer, but the quality is just higher on the retreat. So point would go to Celebrity Retreat. So if you're new here, welcome. Uh, welcome. Yeah, hope you're enjoying it. If you're enjoying this episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel greatly. So thank you. Thanks. The next category is the suite benefits. So yes. this is everything that's included when you book a suite in either the Yacht Club or the Retreat. So you there's, want to take it or you want me to take it? Your suite like me benefits. <laughs> I'll take it. So uh, the benefits you get... Um, as of filming this, now everyone gets about their own retreat again. Um, yes, that you, has come back in yes. case you've seen our past ones. So no, the, or uh, it's in the process of coming back. Yes, uh, by midsummer, all of these celebrity retreats will have their sky suites with butlers again. As of right now, it is back on the edge class of ships. Though. Yeah, um, you do have a dedicated concierge. You've got a restaurant, a pool, hot tubs, like an old private entry. You get. Uh, priority embarkation and disembarkation. You've got a lounge. You've got drinks. You've got food. On top of everything Jack had mentioned, you also get 24-hour room service. You get. You are all about the food because you've mentioned 24-hour room service. I mean, like, if you haven't watched times. this, if you haven't watched this before, <laughs> it's obvious that I'm into the food. <laughs> then you get upgraded bedding. You get a pillow menu. You get slippers and robes in your room. You get upgraded products in the bathroom, and then you get reserved seating at the shows for both of those, though. It is reserved seating only on the, like, chic night or the dressier night. Um, not every single night. It's like the bigger show performances that you have the reserved seating, but it is a really nice benefit to have to know that you don't have to get there super early and you have a great seat. Yep. And then in both of them, you also get the premium drinks package as well as the high-speed internet. And uh, with MSC, you get two high-speed internets per person. Which is very nice. Which is an added benefit. If you like to work from the ship, um, you can have your computer and your phone going at the same time, and I have to switch back and forth, which is huge. What do you get with Celebrity? You get one per person. Okay, one per person. Another benefit that we kind of touched on before was that MSC has a mini fridge in your room that is stocked and replenished. It has beer, sodas, really fancy juices. It does have a bar of Toblerone, but that one they do not replenish, unfortunately. But so it's a big bar, so you should be good. Meteor Toblerone consumption. Yes. <laughs> um, and a really nice thing that MSC also does is you get access to the thermal spa at no extra cost. We did a three-day sailing. We got it for one day. It was really nice to be able to like kind of go in and explore the thermal spa a little bit and try out all the different rooms and the sauna and the ice room and the salt room and everything it had to offer. You do not get that with celebrity. None of that is included. So it's just a nice little extra bonus perk. Yeah, I would agree. The only way that you can get access for free to the thermal spa with celebrity is if you book an aqua sky suite. Otherwise, it's unfortunately not included. Unlike MSC, no matter what room you are in, it is included. And on top of that for MSC, if you happen to be going to their private island, you also have a reserved space. <laughs> you have a reserved space for M MSC Yacht Club guests that has a lot of loungers on the beach, its own private beach, several loungers in the shade, and then a building that has a full bar in it also serves lunch there and a full wraparound porch in the, the little building that you can also sit in, relax, get some shade, have some lunch, and the inside is air conditioned. So if yes. it is super hot and you feel like you're overheating, it's a great spot to go in. And they use golf carts to get you from the ship to the yacht club area. So if mobility is an issue, that is a fantastic added benefit. 
Yep. Now, if you're sailing the Caribbean with celebrity, celebrity ships are now starting to go to Coco Cay, which was for Royal Caribbean ships only. Um, on uh, Coco Cay, there's not a dedicated suite area like MSC that Emma was just talking about. Correct. But I will say, Coco Cay is Coco much Cay better. is huge. And there is so much stuff to do there. So if you're like wanting to do beach and do slides and all different activities, they definitely have way more activities that you can sign up for Yep. if you don't just want to chill beach day. So for sweet benefits, um, because of two inter yeah, high speed internets per person, the mini bar and the, mini bar and and the, the thermal, thermal spa, spa. <laughs> the point goes to MSC on this one. Yeah, because otherwise they're very similar in what you get as a benefit. And I just think having those few extra little things just bumps it up. Yep, that ice room is just perfect. <laughs> okay, this one's tough. Last category. Overall experience and slash price. You take the price. You That's usually you. Price-wise, MSC is much cheaper. Way cheaper. It's roughly 20 to 30% <laughs> cheaper at the minimum. Well, uh, it depends on where you're sailing. No, it's still about 20% cheaper. MSC is typically about 25% or more cheaper than the same itinerary on the Celebrity Retreat, which can save you a lot of money that you can use in um, ports or on the ship. Especially at that price point. Or another trip. 25% ends up adding up to a, a nice sum of money. Yep, yeah, so from a price point, MSC is obviously cheaper. Um, you get a better bang for your buck, I think. Uh, overall experience is in my opinion, the retreat is just yeah. a step up. It's kind of like... It's closer to like ultra luxury. Yes. It's as close as you get to like the next category of cruise ships as you could possibly get without spending an additional like five to $10,000 more. So uh, if you're... It's just the highest end we've ever traveled on so far. So we just think it's better. Um, so that brings it to like the grading part of it, which, which is the hardest part. For these, it is definitely, because I think... Because we can't have six categories, we have to have five. Because if you have six, you get in at a tie. That is true. That's happened before. Um, but I think the reason why it becomes so difficult is because of the price. When you're looking at things that are such a drastic difference in price, it makes it really hard to say that they... Really, well, I can be cheap sometimes. So it makes it hard to say that the really expensive one wins, but... I don't know. I mean, I'm it's, huge into food and celebrity wins by far on food. Yeah, like overall experience, I think we have to go with celebrity. This is our opinion. Uh, we're not funded by any one of these cruise lines. Our opinion, celebrity, if we had to choose and the prices were within 25% of each other, we would spend the money for celebrity. That's how I'm grading this point. That makes sense. Like, if, if they were that close, we would pay for it. Now, if they're 50% cheaper, then we're I'm going, going to MSC. MSC. <laughs> 25%, I have to give the point to the retreat. I agree with that. It's definitely a tough one, but I think Celebrity would win in our opinion. It just seems more spa-like and relaxing and upscale. Yep. Not that MSC doesn't feel upscale, but it's kind of like you get what you pay for with MSC. And it, you get amazing benefits, but... The quality of everything isn't at the same level as the retreat is. Yeah, and what we say, if you're using this video to choose between the two, and you've typically only done Celebrity, find a shorter cruise for MSC and give it a try. Um, you can find one's really good deal. Uh, we found one for under $1,000 for three nights uh, in the Yacht Club. So, like, give it a try, see if you like it, um, and then maybe switch it up back and forth. So, with that, so wait, we're not done oh, yet. Oh, sorry, you have sorry, to declare sorry. winner. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a score of four to one oh, in the it? Celebrity Retreat versus the MSC Yacht Club Celebrity Retreat is the winner. Yeah, that one was pretty obvious, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to like, you want to see the results. True, 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 very okay. true. So with that being said, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and being here. Till next time, get out and live a little. Bye guys. And then you also have, why is my brain not working? <laughs>